Hi everyone and welcome to Catherine's Plates. I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my show today. If you're a subscriber, I'd like to welcome you back. If you're not a subscriber, I'd like to welcome you to my show today and I hope that you will hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. Today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite ways to cook in the kitchen, the Instant Pot, and I want to make some dishes using one of my favorite tools that I just recently got. Now this is a silicone egg bites mold and it's used for more than just eggs y'all and I'm gonna let y'all know what it's used for here in a minute. Now if you're interested in this just check it out in my description box down below under my Amazon favorite items and this will be there. Alright y'all I'm gonna go ahead and get started so we can see what it does. All right, so what the product comes with, this is the box that it's gonna look like right here. This is the silicone egg bites molds. It has seven molds and they're really nice silicone and it helps pop out whatever you're making and nice and deep. And now it comes with this little lid that you can attach to it after you've cooked them in the Instant Pot. So if you wanna keep them nice and fresh in your refrigerator, you have a lid right here that'll fit onto it. And then you do have a nice little tool here, kind of looks like a spoon <laughs> knife. And what this will do is help get your items out of there if you need to get it out of there. But you know, when I use this, I've had no problems popping them out of there if I let them sit just for a minute in here once I pull it out of the Instant Pot. All right, y'all, there you go. Okay, so using my silicone egg bites mold, I am going to be making omelet bites today. Omelet bites are so versatile. You can put just about anything in them, right? Today I'm going basic for you and then you can add on to that, all right? We're going to start with the basics of four eggs, half a cup of shredded cheese, half a cup of ricotta or a cottage cheese. We've got about one third cup of chopped cooked meat. Now this is bacon. You can use sausage, you can use ham, whatever you want, okay? And I've got salt and pepper, so if you want to add more seasonings, you're more than welcome to. And then I've got one cup of water. All right, so we're going to go ahead now and put this all together. All right, let's go ahead and crack our eggs in the bowl. Use Just using a fork, lightly beat it up. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and add my ricotta cheese. Mix that in there good. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and add my grated cheese. We're going to salt and pepper to taste. We're going to add our bacon crumbles. And we're going to go ahead and give this a stir. Mix it all until well combined. All right, I'm going to take my silicone mold here and I'm going to fill each hole. If you can see those, you see, yep, about three quarters of the way full. So I'm going to lay a piece of paper towel over it. This will keep the condensation from building up inside of there and making these too wet, all right? I'm going to get me a piece of tin foil, lay that on top of that. Now seal it all the way around the whole, all the edges. What we want to do is keep it from getting that condensation inside of this, all right? So make sure you seal it good. Keep turning it, just like that. All right, we're gonna go ahead now and add one cup of water to the bottom of our Instant Pot. All right, so now we're gonna take our rack and put it inside of our Instant Pot. Holding our egg omelets, just like that. We're going to place our lid onto it. Lock it into place. Now on the back of the unit is a knob. And we want to make sure that it is on sealing. Alright, we're going to go ahead now and push the pressure cooker button. High pressure for 8 minutes. Alright, we're going to let it build up to pressure. It's going to do an eight minute countdown and then we're going to do a 10 minute natural release. All right, my 10 minute natural release is up. We're going to go ahead on the back of the unit and we're going to move the knob from sealing to venting. Wasn't much happening in there. 
We're just going to wait for that pin to drop. And there it went. So we're going to go ahead now and release the lid away from us. We we'll use a towel to pull out. Now the trivet down on the bottom had the little handles on the sides right here and that's what I'm going to grab. I'm going to show you to pull it out. I'm going to lay it on the table here. All right, so what I'm going to do now is release the tin foil carefully and then remove it along with that paper towel that was there to catch all of the condensation that got up in there. There we go. It smells so good. I'm going to bring these up for you. All right, so I'm going to let those rest for just one minute. Okay, can y'all see how big that is? Look at that. Perfectly nice shape. Mm, right there, egg omelets. Using my silicone egg bites mold. All right, y'all, I'm ready to go ahead and try one of my egg omelets. Look at that. Y'all saw how those came popping right out of that egg mold. All right. Mmm. 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 <laughs> that is so delicious, y'all. Do you see how perfect that is and nicely cooked? We put that paper towel on top with the tinfoil wrapped all around it very securely to keep that condensation from being inside of there. Mmm. All right, y'all. Just think of the many ways and the different ingredients that you could put into these egg omelets. All right, y'all, so just comment down below what you think of my egg omelets and the egg mold that I use. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you another use for it. All right, y'all, so the next dish that I'm going to make using my silicone egg bite molds are pancake bites. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is make your pancake batter according to the back of the instructions on your box whatever box brand you want to use. Now I'm just using this Aunt Jemima Original and I'm just following the directions on the back of the box for the one cup of the pancake batter. And so I'm going to be using milk, eggs, and oil and put that together in a bowl right here and then when I get it mixed up we're going to be right back. Alright, we're just going to fill our molds up three quarters of the way full with the batter here. All right, there we go. We're going to go ahead now and prepare our silicone molds to go into our Instant Pot. All right, the first thing I do is lay a paper towel over the top of it. And that will catch all the condensation and keep those pancake bites from getting too wet. All right, now I'm going to lay a piece of tin foil over that and seal it all around the edges pretty tightly. That'll keep all that condensation from gathering inside of here and making this too wet. All right, just like that. All right, I have my trivet rack here. I'm gonna lay my mold right on top of that. So it's just like that. I've got one cup of water in the bottom of my Instant Pot and I'm going to take my trivet and place it in just like that. I can put my lid on, lock it into place, and on the back of the unit is my knob. We're going to move it from venting to sealing. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit the pressure cooker button. It's on high pressure for eight minutes. Once it does the countdown for eight minutes, we're going to do a natural release for five minutes and then we'll be right back. All right, so the five minute natural release is over. We're going to go ahead now and move our knob on the back of the unit from sealing to venting. It should be really quick. We're just going to wait for that pin to drop right here. All right. 
to unlock the lid and push it away from you so you don't get any of that steam in your face. All right, so we're gonna go ahead now and grab the edges of the trivet and pull out our pancakes. Now what I'm gonna do now is release the tin foil carefully. And remember we have that paper towel under there. It's gonna be a little hot. And then just pull it off. Mm -mm -mm. Don't those look good? All right, I'm gonna cool them down for just a minute in here and then we're gonna pop these out of here. Boop. There we go. All right, y'all get some syrup. We're gonna powder sugar these up so they're nice and tasty. And I'll be right back to try one for you. Okay, y'all, I am ready to eat my blueberry pancake bites. Look how pretty that is. Mmm, mmm, that's delicious. It tastes like a pancake. Mmm. I'm going to dip a little bit in the syrup here. Let me find my syrup. Alright. <laughs> nice dip. Mmm. Look at that blueberries. Mmm. Alright y'all. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section what you think of my pancake bites. <laughs> Okay, everyone, thank you so much for coming to my show on my Instant Pot using my new tool, the Silicone Egg Bites Molds, making my omelets and my pancake bites. Let me know down below in the description box which your favorite was and what you think of this. All right, y'all, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification, and you'll always know when my shows are posted. Alright y'all, I will see you on the next episode.